We used mock in an X unit test project. As a result, we can mock objects in unit tests for our .NET project. Want to know how we did it? Stay tuned to find out. First, we need to create services that we can mock. We've set up two projects in our Visual Studio solution. We have an X unit test project and a class library. The X unit test project has a project reference to the class library. We're now going to create some services in the class library. We'll use these services for mocking. So in the roundcode.xunitmock.library, we're going to create a new interface. And we're going to call it iCategoryService. Within that, we're going to include the method of getCategoryName, returning the type as a string. We're going to pass in a parameter of ID. We're going to do a similar thing for product service. So we create a new interface, and we're going to call it iProductService. Once again, we're going to create a new method called get product category. We're going to pass in two parameters for that. We're going to pass in the ID, which will represent the product ID, and also the category ID. Finally, we're going to create a product service class. So we select class, and we're going to call it product service. So we're going to have a reference to the I category service, and we're going to pass that in through dependency injection. So we'll call the private field as category service and we'll create a constructor for the product service. And we'll pass in a reference to the category service and we'll reference that to the private read only field that we've created for this class. We need to implement the I product service as part of the class and within that we need to include the method that we created in the interface which is the get product category. Within that we're just going to return the category service interface and we're going to call the get category name passing in the category ID as the parameter. We're now going to write some unit tests on the product service class. This is where we get to mock objects. In order to mock objects in XUnit we need to install the mock that's MOQ NuGet package. So in Visual Studio we go to tools, NuGet package manager and manage packages for solution. We're going to do a browse for MOQ we select mock and we install it on the X unit project, which is this one here. And that's done for us. Now we're going to set up the test class library in our X unit test project. So we go to add new class and we're going to call it product tests. We're going to set up some mock references. So to do that, we call private read only and we get this mock class, which we import from the mock library. Within that, there's a generic type, and whichever class we pass in will be the instance for our mock class. We're going to do it for the product service, so we'll pass that in as a generic type, and we're going to call it product service mock. We'll do the same for the category service. This time we just pass in the mock instance as the i category service, and we're going to name it to underscore category service mock. Now we're going to initialize these mock objects and references in the constructor. And the reason being is that we want to use them as part of all the tests. So we create the constructor and we're going to initialize the objects. In order to do that, we're going to do the category service first. We call a new mock object and we pass in the generic type of the service that we're mocking. So we do it for the category service first. And we're going to do it for the product service after that. Now, if we have a look at the product service in our class library, it requires a reference to the category service. As we've created an instance there, we can pass that in, but in order to get the actual object, we need to pass in the dot object. The category service mock is the mock object, and the object is the actual object of the service. Now, we're going to do some setup. So when the get category name is passed in, if it's passed in with certain parameters, we want it to return certain results, depending on what's passed in. In order to do that, we can call the underscore category service mock, and we call the setup class. Within that, we can get any public method, so we're going to call get category name. I'm going to pass in as one, and as part of that, we expect the return type to be games. We're going to do the same for two as well. We pass in two, and we expect that to return computers. So every time this is called, if that, the parameter is passed in as one, we expect it to return games. And if it's two, we expect it to return computers. 
We're now going to write some tests. So we need to mark them with the fact attribute. And we're going to call it get product category, category ID of one, should return games. So in order to do that, we declare a local reference. We're going to call product service mock dot object and the get product category. The ID we don't mat doesn't matter too much. We're going to pass in one for that, but we're also going to pass in the category ID of one. Because if we have a look up here, when we call the get category name, which is part of the get product category method in the product service, we expect it to return games. So now we can write an assert on that assert equals we expect it to be games and the actual result is whatever we've declared in the product category name which is this here i'm going to write one more test just to make sure that this is working so the get product category id category id of one and that should not return computers so we can call the assert not equal computers and that's our test set up. We now can open Test Explorer. So we go into Test and Test Explorer, run our tests, and we can see that both of them are passing. Mock also allows you to verify the amount of times a method is called. But how do you go about doing that? In the product service class, when testing the get product category method, we want to ensure that the get category name method in the category service is only called once. To do that, we're going to set up a new test. We're going to call the product service mock object get product category as we've done before. And this time we can use the verify method to ensure that it's been called. So in the category service mock, we call the verify method. And then we can get the reference to the get category name. The parameter we expect to be passed in is one. And we can just call times once. So that indicates that this method here in the category service will only be called once. We can also do that for exactly as well, once, never, or at least so many times. If we run the test, we should see that that's going to pass. And that's passing for us. What if an exception is called? Does Mock have the ability to test for that? We can do that by creating a new test method. We're going to call it get product category underscore category ID of three. And we expect that to throw an exception. Now to make this work, we call the underscore service mock and we need to set up the method for it. So the method's going to be the get category name of three. I'm going to set it up so it throws an exception. Then we can call our get product category method in the product service mock like we've done before. But this time we need to call it as an action. And the reason being is that if we called it directly, then it would just throw an exception and the test would fail. So we call get product category. We pass in the ID of one and the category ID of three. Now we can call the assert and we can call the throws method and we expect it to throw an exception. So the actual test is part of the category name. We open up test and test explorer, run the test and it's passing. Mocking is just one of the ways of using XUnit. Watch this video next to learn more about XUnit. Unit testing is important to testing your code and ensuring that it's bug free.